Hey guys, I got a request to do a tutorial on how to get mods for Emergency 4. I know that there are some videos out there that have shown how to do this, but they're pretty old. So I'm going to do a new one as of May 20th, 2020. So let's get started right into it. First things first, you're going to need WinRAR. If you don't already have it, I'll put this link in the description. Come to this uh, website here and click this blue download WinRAR. You do not need to buy it. If it ever prompts you to buy it, you don't have to. Click uh, download WinRAR and then you can click down at the bottom left when it pops up start it up do whatever it tells you to do and then you'll have that and you will be ready to unpack uh, unzip your mod however you need to next this i will also put in the description this is the emergency for do uh, mods entire uh spreadsheet or google docs of all the mods for emergency four I will also put the link to the Facebook page because you can come here and just click on the link down here in the about section and also get to it. So I'm going to work on getting the West Falls Township mod because I know it works and I know that um, and it's my favorite. So I'm going to come to this. It'll come up as Mega. Not all of them will do it, but on Mega you'll click this download button and then it'll start downloading at the top. Now not all the mods will work because a lot of them are really old. So if they don't work, it's just it's unfortunate, but it, it probably just won't work out. But uh, I do I do know that West Falls Township mod works, so this will be a good one to do a tutorial tutorial on. Plus, it's a really good mod in itself. So we're gonna let this finish up downloading here, and then once it does that, it'll show up at the bottom left here, and then you can click on it. And if you've never used WinRAR before, it'll ask you how you want to open this. Select WinRAR. If you have used it, just uh, it'll come up just as you need it here. Next, you're going to go find where your Emergency 4 directory is. So one easy way to do it is come to Emergency 4 in your Steam and go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and it'll bring you right to where you need to be. I have a mods folder here. You may have one there already. I'm not sure, but if not, you can just right click and make a new folder and call it mods. And then you will be able to, or you will have a mods folder. But I'm going to double click on mine. You can see here it says use mod installer to add uh, mods. But what I'm going to do with West Falls Township here is just click and drag it in and let it all copy over. Now that it's over there, I'm just going to go back and go down to mod installer and just make sure that it shows up here. Once it so if it's shown up here, then you know that it's good. It's currently installed. Now, what you have to do, wow, my computer's going wonky right now. Minimize out of all this and just start up your game. Now, when you get into the main menu, all you have to do is go to modifications here. If you have more than one mod, you'll have to scroll down because only two show at a time. But for this, we have West Falls Township mod right here. Click on it. Click OK. It will freeze for a little bit, but it is just loading up. All right. Now that it's loaded up, you can go to free play, normal, continue. This game mode says fire EMS police calls, endless, continue. And now you can see the whole background is all modded. West Falls modification by Slate Dragon 1. And here you are, you have your mod, it's all started up. And you're good to play. Well, I hope that this tutorial works out for you. If you have any questions, let me know. If it doesn't work out for you, try a different mod. Um, not all the modifications do work, but I know for a fact that the West Falls Township mod does work. So I hope you guys enjoy that and have fun with it. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.